Today's Spotlight is brought to you in part by presenting sponsor, Busey Bank. Busey, your dream, our promise. Welcome back to Spotlight. I'm your host, Jane Wernette. I'm joined now by Chris and Andrea from Adopt. So welcome. Thank you. Thank it's you. exciting to have you here, and we're going to start off by getting to know who else is with you. Yeah. So, Chris, why don't you introduce us to your friends? Sure. This is Big B. Um, he is a 17-year-old Shih Tzu. He came up to, from, up to us from Texas, so he is one of the hurricane dogs. So, yeah. He's, How old is he? He's 17. 17. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And who have you got with you, Andrea? This is Petite. She's uh, about a year and a half. And she came from Naperville Animal Control, and she's um, she's tiny. She's very laid back and and loves people. Um, super cuddly and and very quiet. The car right here. She was she didn't make a peep. Nice, mm-hmm. nice. So we've got Big B and Petite. I love that. <laughs> We're sizing our animals tonight, so that's good. Yes. Chris, I'm going to start with you. Talk a little bit about Adopt. I mean, we know you, but tell us a little bit about your purpose and mission. Sure. Well, our mission is to um, to improve the quality of lives of animals. And we do that by rescuing them, rehabilitating them, and we do a lot of humane education, and we'd like to find them permanent homes. Okay. And and you talk, because, I mean, just even when you talk about where these two lovely uh, animals came from, I mean, you're you're bringing in animals from lots of different places, Mm -hmm. right? Yes, yes. Um, We we get them from all over the place. So um, typically we'll start local, and we kind of move out as as the need arises. Okay. Um, But, you know, Naperville Animal Control, Aurora Animal Control, um, Southern Illinois Animal Controls, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Texas, um, and we did take a lot of, of dogs and cats from Texas during the, the hurricane. Yeah, that was a tough time, wasn't yeah. it? It was a tough time for mm-hmm. humans and a, and a tough yeah. time for a lot of pets who got separated or just didn't have homes to begin with, right? right? Absolutely. Now, you, uh, you, I've read a little bit on your website, and, and there's some interesting facts on there, and, and quite stunning facts, really, when you talk about the number of animals that don't have homes. Illuminate us a little, if you would. Yeah, I mean, it's, it, it's really astounding. There are, are way more animals out there than there are homes. I mean, so it's about one in 10 that have a home. Um, and that's where we come in and we, you know, we rescue these animals. We try to find homes for them. And, and that's also why spay neuter is so important mm-hmm. so that we can help control that overpopulation and we're not getting animals winding up in shelter environments. Yeah. Now you, you offer a lot of services that adopt along that line, you know, on the medical front, but mm-hmm. also the spay neutering. So give us a bit more information about that. Sure. Um, well, we have two programs. One is our, va- our low cost vaccine clinic, and we offer that the first and third Wednesday of every month from two until seven at the shelter. And we offer low cost vaccines to the general public. So, you know, it's really, really important for people to do wellness for their pets and we help them achieve that because it can be costly and we want to make sure that every pet has the ability to you know see a veterinarian and get their basic needs fulfilled yeah i I think that's amazing because you know sometimes i think people might think well only if i adopted through adopt could i come in and take advantage of that Mm -hmm. but you're saying everybody anybody can come that's amazing that's a great service absolutely yeah so and I'm sure that's not cheap right. <laughs> for you to do. So, right. Andrea, I know mm-hmm. you're very involved with the fundraising yes. and the event. So tell us a little bit about what you've got going on in that arena. Yes, um, I'm the board secretary, but I also am uh, the fundraising chair. So I do a lot of event planning and um, initiating programs and things. So our, our upcoming event is in February. It's on February 22nd at Jimmy's Grill, downtown Naperville. It's called our Kitty Cocktail Hour. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So it's, it's also a very social um, event, too. Um, just it's a, it's a time for animal lovers to get together. It's also a time to um, spread the word about ADOPT. Mm-hmm. We have information there for people. Um, it's just a time for animal lovers to gather. So that's February 22nd from 530 to 730 at Jimmy's, downtown Naperville. Um, people can buy tickets right at the door. Okay. Uh, we'll have appetizers and one complimentary drink uh, for our guests. And then we have our famous cookie walk. That's uh, March uh, 24th at the shelter. It's our Easter cookie walk. And um, we have our volunteers baking up like batches and batches of delicious goodies. Um, it's just a really fun, festive event. Um, 
to come to and then um, and that's at the shelter that's right at the shelter yeah. so you can really come in mm -hmm. you can see the animals you can see the Absolutely. services that you're providing mm -hmm. yes and it's really a family event um, we have um, hot coffee usually like hot, you know something for the kids uh, hot chocolate maybe um, we have shelter tours available nice. we have board members that are there that will give shelter tours and our volunteers will give tours so it's a great opportunity to come and see the shelter and the facility as well as get some great cookies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if the animals haven't eaten them all right. yet, right? <laughs> a little treat for the animals. Right. Um, our largest um, fundraiser, though, is our Making Strides for Strays. And it'll be our 25th anniversary wow. um, walkathon this year. Okay, so. that's a, mm -hmm. 25 years. That's outstanding. Congratulations to you. Yes, so thank what, you. So tell us what's involved with that. Well, we hope this one to be, this is the, our biggest and best one yet. Um, it's going to be at Naperville Central High School the first Sunday in May. Okay. Um, we are in the planning stages right now. We have some great sponsors that have already um, are already going to participate in sponsoring us. Uh, we have a walk that begins at the high school and uh, wraps around downtown Naperville and comes back to uh, Naperville Central High School. We have a DJ that's going to be, you know, filling the air with beautiful music or fun music. We'll have face painting, um, grilled hot dogs at the finish. We have hot coffee and donuts at the start. Nice. We have vendors there. Uh, we hope to have a photo booth this year and just some special perks this year for our Adopt alumni as well. So we are hoping that our, of course, we want all people to come out with their dogs, but we really are hoping that our, our um, Adopt alumni come out and in large crowds this year. Oh, and that's nice, right? And being yes, able to talk yes. about their experience Absolutely. and having their pets and, and their forever homes, mm -hmm. right? Absolutely. So we're very excited about this upcoming walkathon. Well, yeah. good. Well, we're going to wish you good luck on that. <laughs> that's Thank awesome. You. Thank, you. Thank you. Chris, what makes Adopt special? Because there are many shelters and, and everybody's trying really hard to do really good stuff. What makes yeah. Adopt special? Um, I think one of the biggest things that makes Adopt special is our ability to take in animals with special needs. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, Big B is a really good example of that. He is a 17-year-old Shih Tzu. Um, he is blind and he is deaf. Um, but and, and oftentimes shelters don't want to take that on, but we will take in dogs like Big B, and if we cannot get the, him adopted out, um, we let them live their lives at the shelter, and, and you know they kind of go into like a hospice program where we provide loving care and, and medical needs for them until you know until their time is is up and um, I think that makes us really special yeah um, you know we're, we're not afraid of the medical cases we take in a lot of medical cases heartworm positive dogs cats with FIV mm -hmm. um, broken legs those sorts of things and, and we really enjoy helping those types of animals well I think that certainly does make you a very special place and I'm sure Big B is super thrilled yes. to be with you yes. so thank you so much we wish you the best of luck with your upcoming events and we look forward to hearing more next year thank you if you would like to find out more about how you can support Adopt, please go and visit their website. We're going to take a quick break. Don't go away. We're coming right back with more Spotlight.